Welcome back guys, Max here. So whilst trolling Twitter for the latest gossip, I came across a post by Yo-Yo DeLund. Now if I've absolutely butchered your name, Mr. DeLund, I apologise. That's a bit of a tricky one to pronounce there. Now he's a producer over at Dice LA, and he's asking for feedback from you guys essentially on what you would like to see added or removed within Battlefield 1. Now, I fully plan to do a video on competitive play and Battlefield 1, but this sparks some frustration, and I'm not going to lie, a little bit of salt. So I thought I'd just wrap both videos into one and be done with it. I'll quickly read to you what he asks, so we're all on the same start line. He says, Everyone, it's been a while since we did this, but here we go again. I'd like to ask you, the community, what we, you think we should prioritise our efforts on. What features would you like to see added, improved, removed or changed? We do have our internal list of priorities, but I am sure we're missing some things. Help us make the game even better. Please be as constructive as possible in your feedback and try to avoid writing walls of text or post you know, videos, etc. like that. I know there are a lot of you out there with a passion for competitive gaming, but there is no reason to post anything about that aspect of Battlefield here or now. A time and a place will come for that soon. He says thanks for being awesome and then obviously signs off at the end of it. So, as you can see, he doesn't want questions about the competitive aspect, he just wants feedback relating to the current version. And my video was going to be about competitive play and when we can expect it. And there will be an announcement at Gamescom next month, which is in Germany, starting on the 22nd of August, I want to say. But aside from that, we don't really have you know, any real information. Now, I was going to put out, I guess, a bunch of suggestions as to what the competitive game would look like, how it would be balanced and things like that. But this post really got me thinking about what DICE are doing and how they're going about it. Hence the salt. Now, before you can have any form of competitive play, you first fix all the bugs and game balancing issues. If you don't, then you're going to have a real hard time when cold hard cash is on the line. If you're asking feedback from the community this way, um, then who the hell is reading the forums? This information is out there, Dice. All you've got to do is read it. Now, as usual, I watched Westy's video earlier about exactly this topic. Now, I do like to keep up with the competition, and yes, having 1% of an overall of, of his overall sub count is competition, and I know he's scared. Now, as per the norm, I was greeted with some, uh, I guess, dice brown nosing masquerading as a poor attempt to bond with the real player base. Um, and that aside, he obviously comes at the question posed by yo Ye Delund, again, sorry if I butchered your name, from a PC angle, and I want to hit it from a more of a console perspective. So these are some of the things that I would like to see fixed and why. Top of my list is separating console and PCs from balancing issues. The two platforms don't play the same way in any way, so why balance them together? I know on PC the ADAD button spam can be an issue and would need to be addressed for some competitive play. Now if you don't know what that is, it is tapping the A and the D buttons rapidly on PC, causing your character to dance from side to side, making you harder to hit um, while keeping your aim you know, perfectly on target. Now it's not an issue for the console, so pfft, whatever. I don't think the two platforms should have ever have been balanced uh, together, um, but it is what it is at this stage, um, and I think that's something that certainly needs to, uh, to be adjusted. The second on the pile is the spawns, OMFG. If I'm not spawning in on a dead player, Getting the cheese quick kill, I'm spawning into a player still shooting my teammate, resulting in instant death. Or, this is the good one, you spawn in only to have the enemy guy come around the corner less than half a second later and blast you. Of course, if you do then spawn on a flag with nobody on it, the game decides to spawn you halfway across the map, resulting in lots of running followed by the death that comes from the long range sniper that has picked up on the fact that the game is doing this. So he's waiting for you. Now, I know this takes place because I do this myself. Anyway, third on my list is a real fan favourite, and that, of course, is the netcode. Now, while DICE have fixed it, I guess for the most part, it's nothing like it was. I can still find myself on an East Coast server with a start ping of, say, 30, and out of the blue, it's 200. The hit registration is not as crisp as it was either, and it seems that some days the servers are on point, and then other days playing exactly the same way you couldn't hit a barn door with a bulldozer. Next up, and following suit from that, is, is the promised servers that were never delivered. India is a classic example. The servers were promised as coming soon, much like the CTE for consoles, which is also 
still coming soon. To be fair to DICE, the CTE issue isn't, I guess, their fault. It's Microsoft and Sony holding things up. So if you work for these companies and you're watching this video, chop, chop, guys, the big player base is waiting. Third or fourth on my list, I've lost count at this point, is operations in the server browser. Spawning into empty servers can be really annoying, and although not really a big, I guess, big problem on console, I mean, I can always get into a game, no worries. So, you know, yay me. Now, last up on the list is the rent a server program. This has been completely overlooked right from day one. Dice deliver an empty shell and then take 10 months plus, I guess, to partly fill it. The clans waiting to have full control over servers are not, in my opinion, waiting anymore. They've just given up. It's from this creative element of the player base that we get really cool game modes, included competitive rented servers. But without support and drips of updates, people, I guess, they've just left. So DICE, I think, have really, really missed the, uh, you know, missed an opportunity there with that, with that particular style of, uh, of player. So there you have it, guys. Those are my suggestions for some of the changes. Leave a comment down below or tweet a twit on Twitter. Wow, that's a mouthful. If you have some ideas, and go and share them with yo -Ye, I'm assuming that's his name at this point, at DICE on Reddit. Maybe we can see some credible changes in the future. And until the next video, ta-da.